dear students today i am going to cover the topic the arm processor these are the two main points which i am going to discuss in today's class introduction to arm and programmer's model first let us see introduction to arm arm is a 32 bit risc processor as you all know risc means reduced instruction set computer this arm was founded in 1990 by accor and apple together it is used for small size and high performance applications it is having a very simple architecture and low it consumes low power uh, uh, this arm is used in embedded applications so as you all know most of the embedded uh, products work on battery so the life of the battery should be extended for that reason low power consumption is required so arm is very uh, arm as a arm consumes low power it is very much suitable for embedded applications these are the few arm powered products uh, you can see arm is used in cell phones digital camera game consoles dvd players and there are many other examples which you can see in the picture now let us see programmer's model data sizes and instruction sets arm is a 32 bit architecture it uh, it means that it has a database bus of 32 bit wide and arm has three types of data or arm has three data types they are byte means 8 bits half word means 16 bits that is 2 bytes word means 32 bits which is 4 bytes most arms implement two instruction sets 32 bit arm instruction set and 16 bit thumb instruction set that is when arm is in arm mode arm can operate in two modes one is arm mode and thumb mode when arm is in arm mode it will its instruction will be 32 bit size and uh, whereas when uh, arm operates in the thumb mode its instruction will be 16 bits now let us go to processor modes arm has seven basic operating modes they are user mode fast interrupt request mode interrupt request mode supervisor mode abort mode undefined mode and system mode here first let us see what is user mode user mode is a unprivileged mode under which most tasks run that is most of the user applications will be usually run in the user mode now in this what do you mean by unprivileged mode there are two types of modes again they are privileged mode and unprivileged mode among these seven operating modes only one is unprivileged mode that is user mode is unprivileged whereas remaining six are privileged mode now what is privileged mode and unprivileged mode first privileged mode is the mode which allows full read write access to the cpsr cpsr stands for current program status register whereas unprivileged mode it is the mode which allows only read access to the cpsr but still allows read write access to the condition flags of the cpsr now what is fast interrupt request it is the mode when the, uh, the it is the mode the processor enters in when a high priority interrupt is raised and interrupt request is the mode the processor enters in this mode when a low priority interrupt is raised supervisor mode it is the mode when the Uh, the processor will enter in the supervisor mode when there is a reset of the system or when there is a software instruction executed by the processor now what is abort mode abort mode is the mode uh, the processor uses to handle memory access violations if there are any um, memory access uh, defaults uh, faults or uh, something like that takes place at that time processor enters into the abort mode what is undefined mode undefined mode is again uh, the mode which is used by the processor to handle undefined instructions that is whenever you write some undefined instructions in the program then the processor will um, go into the undefined mode what is system mode it is a 
again a privileged mode which will use the same registers as the user mode now this is the register organization of different processor modes you can see in the user mode there are total 16 registers r0 to r15 and there is a current program status register cpsr here first 13 registers that is r0 to r12 are called as general purpose registers and uh, the remaining registers that is r13 r14 and r15 they have a special functions r13 is called as stack pointer which will uh, save the top of the stack in it r14 is a link register uh, in which the processor will save the return address when it calls a subroutine and r15 is a program counter where the address of the next instruction to be executed is saved and cpsr is the current program status register now here uh, this is the register sorry this is the register organization of the user mode uh, now let us see the register organization of fast interrupt request and remaining modes you can see here some of the registers are uh, some of the registers are uh, given with blue colors all these registers blue and uh, gray color these registers are called as banked registers banked registers are the registers which will be available when the processor is in a particular mode for example here you can see in the fast interrupt request mode the first few registers that is r0 to r7 and r15 will be used from the user mode and cpsr also will be used from the user mode but the remaining registers like r8 to r14 these will be uh, not used from the user mode the fast interrupt request mode will have its own set of fresh set of registers and even spsr will be a fresh set here similarly you can see that uh, in the interrupt request mode the user uh, re user registers which are used here is r0 to r12 r15 and cpsr and irq has banked registers like r13 r14 and spsr that is it is having it a fresh set of r13 14 and spsr it will not use these registers from the user similarly the remaining modes as you can see svc undefined abort register organization of these things is similar to irq where all these three modes have r13 r14 and spsr as a bank register these will be a fresh copy and the remaining registers like r0 to r12 r15 and cpsr will be used from the user mode itself